So we're on the port side of the hull here. And as you can see, they've initiated the sanding process in order to prepare the surface for, for primer, uh, then the base coat and the two clear coats. So what they want to do when they're sanding a surface like this, they want to make sure it's as flat and as straight as possible. And the way they do that is by applying a product called what we call in the industry SPY. Now it's like, um, I'll show you here, we have, this is SPY here. You see this gray products that they have placed along here. So they do, they, they paint it on the entire surface of the hole, the structure of the hole there. And the idea is they get a thing called a longboard sanding. So as you can see here, this item, this piece of material here is a, it's what's called a longboard, right? Which is, you see the sandpaper along here, okay? And they work, they work in twos, sanding the surface of the entire area. And the reason they're using the spy is to make sure there's no craters, any, any, any you know, uh, divots. So the, the whole surface comes absolutely straight. So what they'll do, they'll sand down until all the spy has gone. And then they know the entire surface is absolutely uh, flat, and straight, and there's no um, uh, craters or there's no unevenness in the paint, in this area to be, to be painted. You see here, what they've done down here, in this area here, because we had a few micro scratches in the previous paint, they've chipped it all down to the fiberglass and they'll rebuild up again the filler. Then they'll do um, the primer, base coats, and then the clear coats. And we'll come down around here. You see they've chipped out here. We had a little crack here as well they chipped out. And then come further aft. Get some cracking here as well, which they, which they removed. And they redone all along here as well. So you can see by the time they finished the job in the next four or five months, it's going to be absolutely crack free, absolutely perfect, ready to go. Now here we have El Crago. So, Craig, what are you doing here? Doing some painting? Yeah, making the boat look pretty. Making the boat look pretty. Putting the makeup on. So you got here. We've got the uh, these are strainers for the main bilge pumps, and then we've got a strainer here for the backup bilge pump as well. And then Craig, what he's doing is just sanding and then respraying all the piping, the pumps, uh, the strainers to make it all look fresh and new again, and then ready for the 2019 season. All right, let's go through the garage. <sighs> There's old Will. Hey Tris. How are we doing? Good and you? Very well. So go through here. And the guys are remo removing all the through holes here. So you can see the daylight coming through there. That's the two through holes that they've removed. This is part of the 10 year survey which they're doing. Yeah. And you can see off. they're working in there. Ciao. Yeah. To remove additional through holes yeah. that we have on board for the for the ten year survey, um, so you can see still the work continues, a lot going on. Uh, this is a pump that uh, Will and Craig took off earlier for the Nobenko system, the sprinkler system, and the guys continue to work in there. You can see on the port side generator, which is great. These are all the through hole fittings are all being ripped out by the guy. You can see all the barnacles. Maybe they made their own zombie apocalypse tools to remove it. <laughs> see, they actually that's all good in good condition, but it needs to be ripped out and replaced for the 10 year. Continue our tour back up to the sun deck to show, the, show you guys the progression up there. Fantastic. As you can see, guys are basically sanding and grinding all the different areas here in order to pair the surface. So, you there, it's okay, yeah? 
Puedes seguir, ¿eh? Estoy okay. eh, grabando. Basically what they're doing, they're just grinding back all these little cracks here to make the surface absolutely perfect. You can see they've labeled all the tiny little micro cracks and scratches. We want, because of the level of quality we expect from a tank job, the, 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 the preparation process is the most important part. So they need to make sure that before even considering applying the paint, that the surface is absolutely spot on and haven't missed anything and you know every crack has been taken care of it's been sanded back then they'll redo the filler sand prime and then start the application of the base coat before applying the clear coats so they're cracking with that they're a bit naughty because they're grinding they should be wearing a mask they're not so unfortunately i'm going to have to report that in anyway, one of those things now let's make our way forward down the starboard side. You can see more additional grinding they've done. Some more additional grinding. We had little micro cracks and scratches here. They've sanded it all back, which is fantastic. As you can see, the handrails will be taken off as well. Additional grinding down here. You can see here they start the application for the spy. Duh. So this is all the spies. So when they do all the sanding, you can see it's all blue. So as I previously mentioned, when they do all the sanding, they use this this spy product as a reference of where they have and haven't sanded so it keeps this, the, the, the surface area all level and correct and in line with each other yeah great job here all right you can see a lot of work's going in amazing okay, a bit more additional tracking here They've taken the aluminium uh, bridge doors off. They've been taken to the paint booth to be sprayed because they're aluminium, so a different kind of process. Again, more cracking we had there, it's all being removed. And then here we had a bit of a bubble from before. So grind that all back. They're gonna ferrule this, make sure it's all completely uh, a flat surface before applying the, the paint as well. So we had some wood carpenters come on board uh, to remove some furniture here. Uh, Cause this is another through hole which is gonna be taken off and also replaced. You see there's a bit of exterior corrosion around the sides there. And then basically what they'll do, they'll remove this drive coupling here, unscrew that, remove this pipe, this is a non-return valve, and then they'll take that off there and then have that completely replaced. Also, there's another one. <laughs> Here, if you can see there, it might be a bit dark for you guys, but that's another one they've got to take off as well. Because it's a lot of actual physical work and it is tough work, so um, they're just cracking on with it. Then obviously, one of the additional things we've got to do for our 10 year survey is the Rena surveyor. So the classification surveyor wants to inspect the fuel tanks. So we've accessed here, these are the top of the fuel tanks. So basically what the guys will do, they'll remove the strap coupling again. They'll remove the um, flanges here. They'll take those off and then the tank tops will be removed. But beforehand, we're having a specialist company come to pump all the fuel out. Uh, but you can imagine it's, uh, we've got to be very, very careful when um, transferring fuel on the dry dock uh, because of distribution of weight. So it's a very 
uh, calculator process we've got to go through. We're working alongside with our surveyor, with the engineers, with the shipyard to make sure that the vessel is safe, uh, more importantly, the people on board are safe, and um, you know to make sure we're not gonna do anything that can jeopardize the safety on board. Um, but not to worry about that. Uh, it's only a small amount of fuel we have to transfer and um, the boat's it's, it's very stable, it's very solid on the, on the hard standing here. So as you can see, the work has continued to progress on board. Uh, everybody's really working very hard. Again, very happy so far with the, with the progress and with the quality of the work all the contractors are doing. Uh, Craig and Will have really cracked on since they started on board. A lot of work's been done through them as well. And then, so the idea is to maintain this level of motivation to maintain, to make sure all the contractors stay on board and to get all the jobs done, hopefully behind schedule. But as a lot of you that may not work at sea or in the super yacht industry, uh, it's very rare that you finish a shipyard period on time. But uh, at the moment, uh, we're happy and um, the progress coming along nicely. Uh, really looking forward to next season now, 2019 season. We've got a uh, few bookings already for next season, which is fantastic for AWOL. Uh, at the moment, it looks like we'll be around uh, the Western Med, so Sardinia, Corsica, south of France, and then maybe parts of Italy. So that's the update for today. Uh, please join us next time on Captain's Vlog. Guys, please really like the channel please subscribe please share with your friends and family and again please make your comments below and i'll answer them in in the coming videos as much as i possibly can um i know the content at the moment is not the same as it was in the summer because we're in the half standing and then once we're back in the water i'll then start doing the videos again of the boat going to various places like the monaco's the sandra pays the port of chervos and give you guys a bit of insight when the vessel's in the water and we're on the charter all right, so guys, catch you next vlog. All the best, have a good day.